have for the entire family. All right, all right. so thank you very much. Thank you. As we all know, in every culture, there are some things that define the culture, and food is one of them. Uh, so please welcome the author of Houston Classic Mexican Recipes, Erin Miller. Hello, Erin. Hi, Erin. All right, so a lot of Mexican restaurants in town will be celebrating today, but when it comes to Mexican food versus Tex-Mex food, a lot of people are confused. When you go to Mexico, all of a sudden you're looking for certain things that you may have had here. We don't have that. Chili, chili con queso really can't be yeah, found in yeah. Mexico. Queso flameado can certainly be yeah. found in Mexico. As you say, if it has processed cheese, it's not really not Mexican, really Mexican food. food. Yeah. Not really Mexican. So tell us about the premise behind this particular book. Houston Classic Mexican Recipes is the second book in the Houston Classic Cookbook series. It's a collection of recipes from 40 different restaurants around town. Uh, not only their food recipes, but also lots of drink recipes uh, and desserts. Mm -hmm. So I scale them down, home kitchen test them, and my husband does the photography, the beautiful photography for the book. And one of the things that we find in a lot of uh, you know, authentic Mexican food is fresh, 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 which right. is where a lot of uh, cuisines are going back to now. Absolutely, absolutely. So this salad is, is about as fresh as they come. It combines uh, jicama and mango. It's mango jicama salad uh -huh. from 1308 Cantina. Let's go back. Jicama. Do you know it? Yeah. And most people, when you walk by the grocery store, you wouldn't know that that's what this is. We see it maybe in the salads already if we've even had it at all. But this is what it is, okay? It's also known as a Mexican turnip. The uh, You have to peel it before eating. Its texture is uh, similar to that of a water chestnut or a potato. Uh-huh. So to slice the jicama, you want to remove the top and the bottom, and then of course give it a quick peel. If you have a mandolin in the back of your kitchen cabinet, this is a great application for it. You can give it a little slice here uh, to produce a matchstick. Uh, so then there you go. Yeah, so we'll take our, mang our jicama here, and then mango, I don't know if you're familiar with mango. Mangoes Love are mango. kind of difficult to get into, they're a little slippery. A mango splitter, another contraption, 10 bucks. Really easy to remove the seed. There you go. <laughs> Two equal sides. Just score it with your knife. You can use a spoon or a grapefruit spoon. So you've got sliced mango here. And then we'll top it with uh, sliced strawberries. Mm -hmm. And then the dressing, the dressing is about as easy as it comes. You've got thawed frozen orange juice concentrate. And then if you want to help me here, we can add okay. a little bit of, these, and these are bendable here, right. a little bit of black pepper. Get that in. A little bit of salt. And a little bit of water. The top on, Put the shake top it on, on give it a put your finger over the Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that could be a messy little situation. Yeah. 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 All right. And then give it a quick squeeze. And then a little swirl to a top little swirl. things off. All right. And then pour there a little bit in. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. And there you then we go. can give it a quick toss here. We've I got, got some the... on my finger. Mm. So there's good. no oil in this dressing, so it's completely Fat free, just yeah. a little bit of natural sugar in the in the orange juice concentrate. So here's the finished product here, and I've actually got a little. Uh, if you like to have a taste, taste here for me, sure. okay. Let me taste that.